How are we all doing today? Good, I hope. It's two Wednesday afternoon. Looks like we're going to get a thunderstorm here or something. Let's get into this shit. Um, I made a video twice yesterday for you. And I started to upload it last night because I was telling you that my internet sucks and for some reason at night time I can get it to go a little bit better. Somewhere along the lines, around 98% uploaded, it stopped uploading. Pissed me off because I put a lot of work into it. I made it twice. And it stopped uploading. It's like shit. During that course of time, some things took place that changed my whole outlook on that video that was being uploaded. Today I wanted to remake that video and I've been struggling on how to do it without making it 95 minutes long and it's going to take six days to upload. In that first video, I talked about families. Hashtag families. And what does it mean? Hashtag family to me, hashtag haggy family for that matter, is something I believe in. It's a man's voice that I believe. It's a group of people that I believe Do I necessarily agree with the approaches of things? No. I don't. But that's me, and that's my opinion. People take things differently. How things are said. And especially when you're reading text. There's no feeling. It's very cold. It could be very dry. At least to me, it is. I don't know if that's the same for everybody in the world. Hashtag family is a group of guys. TCB, Psycho Pio, the Arcadus, myself, Haggy. We're a group of guys that just sit around and laugh and joke and beat on each other make videos on the truth exposing the truth hashtag haggy family at the end of my name is something that I am proud of because I believe in that person it does not mean that I give a person a right nor myself the right to go around and degrade somebody and beat them to the point of no end. We stand up for the people we believe in. Haggy followers, Haggy Rance's people went and attacked Edward. Haggy didn't send them. They attacked Edward because they believed in what Haggy was saying in that they didn't necessarily believe in the truth. Jesse Ridgway has never once said, go attack Haggy Rance, go attack the Haggy family. The Juggies took it upon themselves to defend Jesse and what Jesse is doing. We're not exposing Jesse Ridgway. We're exposing Jesse Ridgway's story. the scam of it all the boohoo cry me a river I'm poor I have no money I have no money either one of my medications that I take I cannot afford and it keeps me alive my insurance company doesn't pay for it I don't make a video crying me a river saying pay for it Edward Hubbard was trying to do something and he came out today or the other day 
And all that man wanted to do was just make awareness of cyberbullying and how effective it is on our lives today. <sighs> cyberbullying is incredibly a bad thing, and I don't condone it one bit. Out of sight, out of mind? Does that mean anything to anybody? We don't know who's on the other side of that computer. We don't know if it's a kid. We don't know if it's an adult. We don't know if it's somebody normal or has got disabilities, handicaps. Why do we need to beat somebody? Because it's easy to do. Because we don't know that person. That person has no effect on our lives because he's on the other side. We've never seen him. We never met him. We never sat down. We never talked. So it's out of sight, out of mind. If that person were to die tomorrow, would we care? No. And that's the sad thing. No, we wouldn't. Because it means nothing to us. Because we've never met him. We never took the time to, to got to know that person. And that's sad. Edward did something for me today, and I'm very grateful for him. And put a battle to bed. And the gentleman and I, and I'm going to respect him for right now because... I don't know if he wants his name out there or not, but it's a long time ago. And the man was only sticking up for his rights and his beliefs, and we beat each other. To the point of no end. To the point where people get so nasty at each other. Hey, I'm sorry. And I got to know this guy a little bit more in about a 38 second conversation that I had with him this morning. I watched his YouTube channel. I watched what he does and I believe in what he does and I believe in what he's doing. And he's standing up for his rights. And who am I to come along and knock him down for that? Out of sight, out of mind. Cyberbullying is very much alive in our schools. I'm sure we have all been affected by it, one shape or form or another. I have. I'm sure Jeff has. I'm sure whoever has. It's devastating of what it can do and the powers of it that can do to a human being. Are we, have we become so barbaric that we don't care about people's lives, whether they live or die? Have we become so hateful to the point where we drive somebody to kill themselves because of a belief that you don't believe in? Why does it have to be that way? I don't want somebody to die because of, of a comment I made. No, I don't. State your opinion and move on. There's nothing wrong with standing behind that person in that family and believing in what they say and defending it. But it doesn't need to go to the point where you bewittle somebody's family a child who has been through traumatic experiences because some tough dude can sit there behind a keyboard and say what he wants because he's never been in, in that position of what that family's going through it's sad of what society has become 
A year ago, the YouTube wars were different. Now they have become something completely different. And they're dangerous. And people are starting to take a stand and standing up for their rights. So my family, my, my Haggy family, the TCB Army, the Arcadus Clan, Pio, oh, excuse me, Pio Army. We're a family. We all stand behind each other. We laugh, we joke. We don't condone people what they do in cyberbullying and attacking. People are, are, are calling, is calling Jeff's video to Edward. It wasn't necessarily to Edward, it was just there out in general. Bullshit. Who the hell are we to judge? Is it? Who knows? Put it behind. Let's go. Let's move on. Let's help each other. Let's spread the word of awareness about cyberbullying and knowing when things gone too far, when things are taken too far. I have put so many people down, and later on, long, ugh, later on, have come along and talked to that person, and realized that it's one of the neatest people I've ever met in my life. Stop and think about this. Stop and think about out of sight, out of mind. The next time you type to somebody, try to picture them. Are they perfect? Do they have disabilities? Are they an amputee? Are they old? Are they young? Married? Single? Divorced? I, condone, I commend each and every one of my people that commented in my comment section about their addiction, that takes some fucking balls to come forward with that. And that is the first step in denying and accepting that you have an, an addiction is admitting it. And that takes fucking balls. And that takes more balls than somebody who sits behind a computer and, and mind fucks them. I'm proud of my family. I'm proud of my Aggie family. I don't condone a lot of the things that happen. So leave Edward alone. He's only speaking a problem. Yeah, probably needs to move on and find another target because they're all out there. But the man doesn't need to be told to drink bleach because he's speaking about cyberbullying. It blows my mind to see what society has has, has become and where it go and where it's going. On that note, my friends, I don't know. My mind is so warped with the whole conversation because you can sit here for hours and discuss it. And maybe we will in the comments. But out of sight, out of mind. Think about it. What does it mean to you? Does it give you a different perspective on who's on the other side of that? Depends upon the individual. I love you all. You guys are phenomenal. And I welcome the new people. And to that one gentleman out there, I'm glad I, I got the chance to say sorry. Don't apologize to me. You were only doing what you needed to do. I'm the one who apologizes to you. And I'm glad you are a part of it. I'm glad we became and commend that. 
on that note, my friends, I'm going to do a... Edward challenged me to a challenge, and a marshmallow challenge, and because of my diabetes, I can't do that. Um, not right now, certainly. Probably never. So I'm going to be doing the baby challenge, baby food challenge this weekend, and respect him and, and honor that commitment. My good friend, the doctor, down in my comments said I should, and I'm going to. Thank you, sir. Quick side note, go check out Viral Guy. I'll put his link down in the description. He's kind of funny. He smokes a little bit too much weed, and I think he's smoking out of the wrong end, end of the bong, but he's funny as hell. And I also think he may be smoking catnip. I'm not sure, but you you be the judge of that. Um, to my families, I love you all. And I'm proud of, I, of being a part of everybody's family. And until then, I'll see you guys this weekend. Peace out. Aggie family, be good. Behave. And I'll be talking to you folks in the comments. Peace.